Hi guys, Gaming Bay here. Right, we got to special today, which is the Warbird package. It, it included two, so this is a, a link from that. But this itself is the Hurricane 2D, a uh, multi role fighter with 40 mil cannons and MGs. It looks like a beast. So, yeah, you don't want this following you, but hey, let's see what it can do. So, what I'm going to do, look in initially. So, first information, call this up. Now, what's likely to, uh, to face it is something up to the sort of levels of a Spitfire. I know it's not a, 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 um, a multi-roll, so I'm going to... Actually, let's link to the multi-rolls and do that, and we'll see how it uh, how it fares. So, bear with me a second. So, multi-roll fighters. That's it. Tier 5. So, we have the P-40... And let's go for uh, I just want tier five. Just oop, come on. Tier five multi rolls. That's it. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to throw in the Spitfire as a balancing. Everything's hung. Bear with me a second. Okay, we're back. Right. And we'll include the standard uh, standard plane. I'm going to look at non-premium fighters and get the uh, the Spitfire, which is there. And so we've got a counterpoint as basically what's going to be uh, up against it, really, as an as a sort of an average sort of plane. So the Hurricane survivability 620 very uh, 260 me and my blinking numbers 3900 kilos it's it it's immense absolutely immense huge amount of hit points incredible weight even the uh, p40 is only 2800 similarly to the spitfire so then let's have a look at the the gun armament 499 Two forty mil Vickers and two three hundred three Browning MGs. The Spitfire's got two forty mil cannons and and four Brownings. Um, then the Curtis has got six twelve point seven mils and some uh, uh, rockets uh, from memory. Then we come to the airspeed. So you can see that it's well at firepower wise. It's a very interesting situation. So uh, yeah, I'm liking the look of it, and I really want to test those out. Then we come to the uh, the airspeed. So, 288. It's one l slower than the Spitfire. So, okay. But the, the Curtis M40, the P40, is 380. That's way, way above. Well, 90 kilometers an hour faster. So, uh, yeah, watch out for that. We then come to the rate of climb. The uh, the Hurricane is 43.2, the lowest of the bunch. Next, we've got the, uh, the Spitfire, 44.9. And the uh, the rate of climb of the, the P40 is uh, 45.2, uh, which is the highest. We then come to the stall speed. The stall speed is identical between the Spitfire and the Hurricane to 120, which is really not, not to be uh, sniffed at. We then come to the dive speed. Uh, 680 for the Spitfire is in the middle. Now, what we have, the fastest at diving is the, uh, the Curtis at 750, similar to a German. Then we come to the, uh, the Spitfire at 680, and at the bottom dive speed 630 so it's really not the greatest so that's the speed side now let's have a look at the maneuverability side how it matches up we then come to the, the fastest being the Spitfire is because it is a straight fighter at 8.6 seconds and the other two are matching at 10.8 seconds to turn 360 degrees we then have the rate of roll that the uh, the Spitfire and the Hurricane both got 100, 100 degrees a second, but way out ahead for rate of roll is the P40 with 130. So you can see that the uh, it's going to be an interesting, very interesting situation. We then comes the controllability. The most controllable is the uh, the Hurricane with 80. Sorry, the least controllable is the uh, Hurricane uh, 80. Next is the uh, the P40 at 83, and the best is uh, the Spitfire with 86. The height that they operate, both the Curtis and the Hurricane operate at 900. Well, they're both multi-role fighters, so that's that's the reason. Then the uh, the Spitfire is a straight fighter; it operates at 1,200 meters. 
So that's the, the basic information we have on this. So let's click through. Let's just get to the premiums. Have a look back at the details on the the firing ranges for the, uh, the guns. So bear with me a second. If that's kick in. D40. Overview. Now we are looking. Range for the guns. 370 damage up to 440 meters a huge amount of damage 320 add to uh, to 600 and then reducing at to 750 meters of that uh, 320 so reducing with those 40 mil cannons i like the look of that so we'll get a basic uh, basic loadout test what this is like let's go for a uh, pneumatic restarter and I would say probably first aid package. This may because it's so solid there may be less chance of the pilot being damaged. So I'm going to go for control surfaces and apply that. We'll see what that that's like. Now I'm not. This is going to be testing the characteristics. It's not a straight. This is what a, a multi-role fighter should do. I'm going in to test out its characteristics against itself and against uh, other planes so it's going to be a test situation this will then be linking to a future review on the best way of playing this so this is purely a review of the aircraft and is it good and what's it what's it characteristics like this is not a demonstration of exactly how to play a, a multi-role fighter it's trying to work out the characteristics to see whether it's worth the money in the package so that's that's the reason for this primary one there it'll be it'll link later to a full review with equipment on and potentially with a better pilot to let you know what to choose what equipment to put in so that's what this one is to do to test it out see what equipment what its strengths and weaknesses are to then move it on to the next stage which will be in the next video so i hope you understand where i'm coming from so without further ado let's uh, get into the uh, the first battle with this and see exactly what it's like Right, let's see. Where are we going to uh, come in? What uh, what place are we at? Let's have a look. Ar Archipelago, okay. And uh, we're northeast. Uh, sorry, north northwest. I still need my first coffee. <laughs> let's see where we are. So, which side are we going to go for? The either two command centres or the centre. Come on, get me in, please. I want really want to see this. Show me what you can do, pilots. I want to do a nice let's picture roll. of it. Come on, come on, please get me in. They're already in. Please, please, I want in. I, I want to take a screenshot of this plane. Come on, come on, get me in. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Okay, well, we're in. Right. Let's go in, assist this way. Let's see what height we can actually get up to quite easily. Let's check this out. Nice bit of, of uh, boost, so 1,000 meters try and come in see what we can do so multi-roll we need to know where they are and there they are so let's go kill some see what it's like that seems quite nice so on my tail He's gone. Okay, let's try some ground attack. Nice. Seems like about against Tra ooh, ooh. Large enemy force is attacking the command center. Whoa! Chewed through him like nobody's business. Wow. Enemy bombers detected. Blinking heck. Whoa. I didn't expect to take him down so quickly. Those 40, twin 40 mil cannons, twice the, the shredding power of, of a, uh, a Spitfire with those cannons. Let's go in, let's see what it's like against high level. I know it's not designed for the high level. Let's see if we can get up there. I want to uh, intercept. I want to test it out. So this is testing out the characteristics. What's it like for actually get, getting up and trying to intercept? Let's use boost to try and get up as quickly as we can.
I really want to deal with these guys. I want to see what it's like. Okay, they're starting to come into range. Whoa, chewed through him. This is very, very versatile. So let's go low again. This feels really, really nice. Okay, three, three and a half thousand points. You can't do numbers like this in a bad plane. Uh, so basically, as, as part of a deal, I would say... Ah, someone's got the, the 112. Let's say hello. Oh, and then you got those MGs for close-up work. Oh my goodness! <laughs> right, uh, what are we facing? Let's get in, let's just kill some more planes. This, you, where you need it, it's got the power. That close-up range. So, uh, it's, this is just an epic plane, it really is. I would say the deal itself is worth it just for this plane. So it was around about 15 or 16 dollars. 15 and 16 pounds, similar sort of price-ish. And for me, personally, this the, and the, the weight of it allows you to get in... Let's get in on those boys. I <laughs> like the... the oh, it said like the vids. Oops. Thank you. Appreciate it. Said I like your vids. <laughs> so four and a half thousand points for the first sortie. You really can't do that in a bad plane. It's a really, really good plane. So um, yeah, uh, even th this on its own is worth 15, 15 pounds, 16 pounds just for this one plane. So as a as a special deal, let's get in on those boys. Where are they going to be? Them. Walk from the side. Chew him a new one. And your little friend too. So this is the perfect range for the MGs and the big guns. Let's cool down a bit. Because you've got, you've got maximum firepower, including with those MGs. To stand up to that uh, that firepower Hang in there. that's You'll coming back at you from the, the enemy. I say again, support will not be available. It's a little bit slow for chewing through them, but the they are incredibly, the incredibly hard. tough targets. Like I always say, you can all you can ever do is your best. I want to take him down before he's gone. We've lost the game, but they're coming in on me. There's a heavy storm here. Unable to proceed. Return into base. Do you copy? <laughs> Took him down. 
<laughs> very, very neat. Incredibly good. Seven, 7,800 points. Not a long game because the rest of the team didn't really do a lot. So, 7,800 points. Is it worth it? Yes, very, very nice. The situation now is to implement a strategy for using its abilities on the next ongoing things. This was to look at its abilities in different circumstances, what it can do, what it can't do. It's a very strong plane. It's now working out the proper method for using this individual plane based on its characteristics. Is it a good plane? Is it, uh, is it worth the deal? Is it worth the amount of money they're asking for it? Definitely. It's really, really strong. Fun playing it. And I would say that it's it's at least a double paw. So two-star plane, at least with the deal. Maybe, well, yeah. So with two planes at once. So for the, the plane itself, I'd say it's a two-star. For the deal, even before we get to the second plane, it's a, uh, let's have a look, how much did we make? It's 90,000 credits. You really can't do that in a bad plane. Only the spit on the other side did well, and they had a platoon working together, so no wonder, you know, we were, we were shredded because our guys were a tier lower. Oh, oh no! He brought his mate in a tier 3. Well, no wonder. A, pl a platoon of a 4 and a 3 against a platoon of two fives. Well, no wonder we lost. Oh, those poor guys. So, uh, Costal and uh, Alex, 0712 and the rest. I'm so sorry for you guys. You played your little socks off. Just keep it up, boys. You can do it. Then we cut and I uh, Lion King did fantastically, yeah. Hubica too. But the guys on the opposing team, which really got the the Briegel uh, 70 and uh, von, von Tenkenstein from XL, incredibly well done. Yep, you showed us what to do. Really nicely done. Very, very nice. And uh, Akaran in the uh, HE 112, I'm sorry I shredded you, buddy, but um, hey, the XFL I didn't get a chance to kill. Uh, nicely done. Let's have a look at the points on the other side. Yep, so uh, Anya could. D Dave, let's call him Dave. And you can I am so sorry. Uh, Jing Jings will call him Dave. I'm going to call him Dave. So, uh, <laughs> very, very nicely done in the XFL. So, back to the plane. 90,000 credits. Very, very nice. This wasn't the perfect way of playing a, uh, a multi role fighter, but. It was looking at the characteristics, looking at its low and high level abilities, looking at, uh, at, at against fighters, heavy bombers, uh, target ground targets, and trying to work out what it can do against each, exactly where it fits, what it, its niche is, what it's good at, and what it isn't good at. But the deal for this plane at the moment is really, really good. The plane itself is a two-star plane, which is good, and the deal that it's part of is a three maybe a three and a half star deal or a three paw so this gets two paws from the bear the deal gets three and a half paws so uh, yeah it's a, it's a strong three paws so thank you so much guys this is the hurricane 11d or 11d 2d the hurricane 2d and uh, i'm the gaming bear and i will see you on the next one take care guys bye